Hello everyone, this is Chris from Creative Generation Studios, and today I'm going to take you guys on a tour of all three of the maps in the Castle Map Pack. Now, this is a map pack made by a certain affinity who has done some some other map packs, including uh, a few for Halo Reach, uh, and they also helped out on all the maps on Halo 4. And in the past, have worked on some maps for Halo 1 and 2. So yeah, uh, oh looky here, there's a little forklift. I remember the, the forklift back in Reach, but yeah, so I'm just going to give you guys a little basic walkthrough, uh, show you some of the weapons, maybe a few tips here and there. So this is a map called Perdition, and it's a city-based map, and it actually, uh, if you guys are interested, has a little bit of a story element to it. Basically, this is a critical reactor, and and uh, you, you can see it's dripping there. And um, I wonder if I can actually get hurt. I don't think so, but let's see. No? But anyways, um, and there's actually a monorail going around this city, uh, which is right there. And we'll see sometime, uh, you know, the, the monorail going by, evacuating citizens. Because uh, who knows when this is going to blow up. <laughs> anyways, um, so... There are a few key elements to each of these maps. Um, there are a lot of explosive-based weapons in this map, including the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is going to be the key weapon in this map. Um, now, each each map has also a key vehicle. And the key vehicle in this map is the rocket warthog. Now, this map is kind of an easy drive-through map, a little bit enclosed, but yeah, it basically goes around in a big circle. And um, you can, you know, go around and fire on anyone that gets in your way, run them over, whatever. Um, let's see, what else? These graphics on the wall, you know, the Area 5, and there are a few others coming up. But those are good, those are actually good navigation points to call out to your team. Help you guys, uh, you know, know what uh, the layout is, you know, what enemies are around, what areas, all sorts of stuff. Um, that's about it. Basically, you know, it's has a lot of uh, explosive-based weapons, concussion rifle, railgun, rockets, to kind of counteract the the ro rocket hog and the radio war hogs that are in here, the ghosts. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for Perdition. Um, you know, nothing really else interesting in here. So let's go on to the next map. All right, welcome to Daybreak. Now this map is probably based around the game type Capture the Flag. It's a very good um, game type for Capture the Flag, considering it has two bases. Um, good layout for Capture the Flag, you know, side tunnels and everything. But this map is very beautiful. Look at it. I mean, look at that skybox. Really awesome. And look here, I'm glad that we, we actually ran into the Banshee early because this is actually going to be the key element in this game. If you are playing this map, you are going to want to get on the Banshee, unless you just absolutely hate it. But this map is very good, I think, uh, for Banshee attacks. So if you are very good with the Banshee and manage to get your hands on it, you could just like totally wreck the other team. There are a few Spires to kind of work your way around, but... You know, it's not a biggie. Um, there, this map is actually actually very interesting, considering um, you know, of course, it has two snipers at each base. But the interesting part is actually that the bases are not symmetrical. As you can see, there is a man cannon right here, while the other base does not have a man cannon. And this actually takes you to the center of the map, which is this giant kind of like rock wall. And it's it's a very good place to actually hold if uh, if your team manages to get a hold of it because you can actually see a good decent amount of what's going on around the map. The bad thing is is besides this wall which you can hide behind, it actually leaves you pretty exposed to whomever is uh, know, firing against you. Also, another thing keep in mind that when you use this man cannon, you are open completely open to sniping from the other base, so just keep that in mind. So now we're going to go into these tunnels here. Here's a ghost. And this is actually going to be the key weapon. 
Um, there's actually a Spartan laser also on this map that spawns um, sooner or later, but the Spartan laser and these rockets are going to be the key element to fighting the Banshee. So, just, yeah, and it's on the opposite side too, so it's balance between the Banshee and the rockets. Um, so between the Spartan laser and the rockets, I really don't see it being, the Banshee being overpowered. Here's the base. And here is a little lift to take the top. So that is Daybreak. Um, you know, first impressions, I, you know, I think this would be a very good objective base map, especially for Capture the Flag, like I said earlier. Uh, very beautiful. Banshee is the key. Remember that. So let's go on to the next and final map, which is Outcasts. All right, welcome to our last map of the Castle Map Pack called Outcasts. Now this is right away. This is the biggest map in the map pack. It's good. This is good for big team battle. But actually, I think this map was based upon the game type Dominion, and I'll show you why in here in a second. But look at that. I think that's a little bit of a civilian transport. For anyone base or interested in the fiction behind this map, it's centered around like a bunch of ex UNSC people that I guess kind of fled from the Empire and made their own colony. So yeah, there's not not a lot going on <laughs> in this map as far as like, you know, civilization. But you know, there are a few bases. There's three bases for Dominion. And uh, we'll take a little tour here. Um, so yes, Dominion. You know, Dominion's, you know, I, I haven't played much of it, but from what I've played, it's pretty fun. So there's rockets and Spartan lasers. Um, this map has lots of, actually, huge vehicles. There is going to be a Mantis, a Wraith, and if you're playing Dominion, even a Scorpion. Little Warthog right there. As you can see, there's two Spartan lasers, two. Well, those vehicles better watch out. <laughs> Let's see what we got. We got some tunnels. Very good for ambushing people. Now, where is the wraith? That, that, that's where I, where I want. Ah, here it is. And this is actually base B if you're playing Dominion, and this is actually where the the Scorpion also spawns. The Wraith I think doesn't spawn doesn't spawn in Dominion. I could be wrong, but I don't think it does. So this map kind of pits the Wraith against the Mantis, and we're about to go see the Mantis here in a little bit. So the, the keep in mind that the tunnels, you know, that those are good for kind of you know, making your way around the vehicles so you, you know, you're not all the time exposed to vehicle fire. That's about all I have to say for this map. Um, you know, very good for big team battle, and especially Dominion. I think that's what this map was based upon. Has Mantis, Wraith, and for Dominion has Scorpion, two Spartan lasers, rockets. And that's it. So thank you guys for checking out this walkthrough. Uh, you know, it's you know, simple, short, sweet to the point. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Comment on what you like and don't like. And stay tuned for actually uh, me and Alan and some of the other people from Creative Generation Studios are going to be doing a kind of like a, a podcast based around these new maps. So stay tuned for that. Uh, all the links in our, to our other channels are in the description below. So make sure you check out that and actually be on the watch for our new trailer coming up for our new project. You guys are going to like it. So anyways, thanks again. This is Chris from CGS and I'll see you guys next time.